Hello friends, this will happen a lot of many times while we are solving any problem in Excel. Like let's say we have multiple data sets available and we want to play around all these data sets which are available. For example, let's say I want to grab five columns from one of the sheet into the other sheet. So there is a common column which is present into each of the sheet. Now you will tell me Ashtosh, we'll just do a simple VLOOKUP and grab all those five columns or bring all those five columns from one of the sheet into the other sheet. Now friends, just think how inefficient this process is. We would need to do five VLOOKUPs to just get all the five different columns. Can there be a single process where everything gets done with just a single click? This was a very simple example which I have delivered here. But joining different data sets into Excel can solve a lot of many different problems which we encounter. Also these kind of joins which are available in Excel such as the left outer join, right outer join, inner join and different kind of joins they act similarly as into the SQL. Friends into this video we will be learning the same concept, we will be seeing how joins works in Excel and how is the process so the video will be super useful to you when you are solving any excel questions also into multiple data sets like you want to play around different data sets so friends let us quickly move to my screen but before that don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't let us quickly over to our sheet so friends to make you understand joins in excel i have two examples here into this particular video we'll be seeing one of these examples here so you can see into one of the column a i have the roll number and into the column b i have the student's name so you can just consider this to be data set for a certain group of students and their roll numbers and their students name are present here and into the sheet two you can see i have the course id and the roll number of the student who has enrolled into all these different courses so friends let us say i want to join both of these data sheets and i want to get the student name the roll number and the course id in which the student has enrolled now i have discussed this thing like we can use a simple vlookup onto the common column which is available here and we can join both the tables or do operations into them but friends here this is just a simple example example let's say i want to grab 10 of such columns into one of my sheet how complex this process will be if we go by the vlookup method so friends here we'll be seeing how to use the joins is present into the excel the very first process here is to make a table around the data set which is available and you can do a control a control t here you can see a checkbox here my table has headers so if your table contains headers check this box otherwise don't click onto this box i have my headers here ready into both of my tables so i'll just do a simple okay so you can see a table has been created now you can name this table and this is a good practice to have so i would just name this table as data one let's say and similar operation i would do onto the sheet two i would do a control a control t my table has headers okay and here i'll do a data two i'll just rename this particular data set here as data 2 so you can see i have done the initial part so friends our table is ready now after this what do we need to do you can go to any of the sheet here we'll need to go to this data tab here you can see from table option we'll just click on this so friends you'll be getting this kind of interface here you can here you can see the table is ready you can just need to do a close and load here and a new sheet will be created here the data set has been loaded as you can see i'll just expand this a bit so you can see eight rows have been loaded similar operation i'll need to do onto the second sheet i'll go to this data tab here i'll need to do a from table the same operations would happen here also and i'll do a close and load here so you can see another sheet has been created and the data set has been loaded now after this we'll need to join both of these data sets or the sheets which have been created so friends to join both of these sheets also to get all these different options available such as whether do we need to do a left join right join inner join full join full outer join so here this will need to again go to this data tab but this time i'll click on to this new query 
after this you'll need to go to this combine queries and simple merge this time you'll be getting these two options so you can see i have two different tables here available into my sheet so here you can see i have renamed both these tables so i'm getting data one and data two so first of all let us click on to this data one so you can see i have my data one ready here after this i'll need to click on to this data two so you can see data 2 is also available now you would need to mark the common column onto the basis of which the tables would be joining so here the common column is you can see the raw number column so i would just select both of these raw number column and here you can see a tick sign has been coming and it is saying the selection matches five of the eight rows from the first table so this is the first table this is the second table and this was the option which i was telling about so you get to select multiple options from here left join right join full outer join inner join left anti join and right anti join so friends here the different options are available you can select as per your requirement so friends here i'll select the inner join because this is the simplest one and you'll be able to see what is the results which we are getting here so after I've selected the inner join option, you'll be getting a, this kind of option here. You'll just need to do click here and here you'll need to select what is the columns which you want to display from the other table after the joins have been taken place. So friends here I have the raw number column from before so I would unselect this. I just want to get the course ID. So here you can see I have got all the students details who have taken a particular course and the students who have not enrolled into any of the course I am not getting their details. Now here I will do a simple close and load and this particular data would be loaded into a sheet you can see here. So friends this is how the joins they happen into the excel. Let us see one of the more interesting example here and we will be playing around some of the numerical options which are available. Friends you can see the second example which is present here. This particular data set is also very much simple so you can see the district's name present, the state name which is present, the growth of all those district which was taking place, the sex ratio and the literacy rate. Similarly into the second sheet I have the district and the state and the area into the kilometers and the population so friends i have the same districts and the state available into both of these sheets and i want to get the total area in square kilometer and i want to get the average literacy rate which is present into the states so i have three distinct states which are present here you can see assam bihar and gujarat so friends we'll be seeing how we can use the joins which are available in excel and we'll be getting this data which i was discussing so first of all what is the very first step first step is creating a table so Control A, Control T, and here we'll need to rename the table. So this will be data one. Let's say similar operation I'll take place into this particular data set also. This is data two. So the table has been created. After the table has been created, we need to make this or from table option we need to provide here so you can see the data has been presented here i'll do a simple close and load similar operation i need to do onto the sheet too so i would again go to the data tab again onto the from table and after this i would need to provide the close and load option so you can see the data set was loaded so both of these data sets have been loaded will be merging both of these data sets so other terms will be joining both of these data sets so i'll again go to this data tab but now i'll go to this new query combined queries merge so after clicking on to this particular option you'll be getting this interface so this is my first data set you can see here similarly this is my second data set i need to mark the common columns which are present into both of these data sets basis on which these two data sets would be joined after this i'll need to select which kind of join do i need to make so you can see the same districts are present into both of these data sets so i would just do a simple inner join i'll click ok after clicking ok the data set has been loaded you can see so i would just select all the options or the columns which are needed into my output data so you can see i have the district column present be from before state column also is present from before i just want to get the area in square kilometers and the population column i'll click ok 
so you can see i have got both the columns i'll do a simple close and load so after this the data has been loaded as you can see so friends you can see both these tables they were different but i've just merged them with just a single click and doing some minute operations in the back end i wanted to grab the total area and square kilometers into all of the states and the average literacy rate into all these states so friends you can see this is a table output table which we have got i would just insert a pivot table here i'll click ok so you can see the pivot table has been created i'll get the states in the rows i will get the area and square kilometers in the values and similarly i wanted to get the average literacy rate i'll do this this you can see i'm getting the sum of the literacy rate i'll do a click here and i'll be getting this value field settings option here i'll just select the average option and i'll be able to get the average literacy rate into all these states you can see how useful this particular joins function is we can play around multiple data sets i'll be discussing many more different concepts into the joins to my later videos so i hope you had found this video very much informational and useful so do practice a lot and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't and also like this particular video so meet you in the next video thank you so much bye